welcome back to my channel. It's me again, Rebel, and as always, I've got to give my parole advisory. I intend to cuss like a sailor, and I could very well also talk like a pervert. So if you ain't into that, exit stage left. You ain't gonna hurt my feelings none, because I know I ain't nobody's cup of tea. So, yay, we have an Ulta haul that did not come broken. Can I hear the applause? <laughs> Every Ulta haul I've had, you know, for the past several times has been, the pallets have been broken. So, at least Ulta, I will say, is good about reshipping stuff. If it gets broke, they will reship you a new one. So, with no questions asked, they'll just ship it out to you. So, at least I can say they're good about that. But when it comes to their packaging, no. They're not good about packaging. Like, it came in this bubble wrapper, and that was it. The pallets were wrapped, nothing. So, and I do have, um... Well, I guess technically three pallets, but I do have one very expensive pallet, and I'm like, it better not get broken, or I'm going to be pissed. So it didn't come broken. So let me pull out everything. Um, I had a uh, what is it? Ten dollar, ten dollar off forty coupon that popped up in my email, so I decided to take advantage of it, and I used it. So let me get that. At, out of the way. I've got this huge pile over here that I really need to clean up, but am I going to? Probably not. <laughs> so, we're going to start off with some nail stuff. It's really hard to see. Maybe you can't see it. I got this OPI nail lacquer. Um, yeah, I don't know. It just says all that Google jobble crap on the bottom. So, I've never tried OPI, you know, all the nail people love it. So Ulta had this color on sale for like, was it 231 or something? It was super cheap. So I decided to get it and see if I like OPI. Watch, I'll probably like it because this shit is not cheap when it's just regular price. It's like $10 and up a bottle. So I'll probably love this shit and won't be able to get it again. <laughs> so I also, I have been wanting to do this for a long time. I've never dropped the ball and actually purchased, but this time I did. So I got the Essence Latch, Lash, Latched, okay, Lash, there we go, Princess. <laughs> um, this is in a uh, sculpted volume um, formula, there we go. So it's in the purple bottle. I think everybody goes towards the green bottle, but I decided to try this purple one because I like the way the wand looked on this one. It's kind of got that C scoop, and it's all like, well, though, as I'll say, it's all what I know it tapers. It starts off smaller, it goes larger, and I like this, this shape, so that's why I got this one, but it has good reviews on um, Ulta's website, so it's only for something under $5. There we go. We'll just say under $5. Okay, Kaden was coming in here. I didn't know if he needed something or what was going on, so anyways... Like I said, I've always wanted to try it. I'm starting to get a little of my mascara. As a matter of fact, I'm going to have to start throwing away a few because they're just getting a little old. So I decided this is the time to go ahead and try it. I will say, and I hope it works better than this one, but I have been using a little sample of the Better Than Sex Mascara from Too Faced and I actually like it. I'm like, no, I don't want to like it, but I do like it. So hopefully this is better. And then I won't have to like the Too Faced one. So that's what I'm hoping for. I got some different uh, foundation stuff. I, this is brand new for Wet Wild. And I kind of gave up on Wet Wild, but I decided this time I'd give them another try. So I'm going to give them another try. This is the uh, Tinted Hydrator Tinted Skin Veil with Hyaluronic Acid. It's squalene, whatever the hell that is. It's oil free. So it's a sheer to medium coverage. That's what it looks like. There we go. There's the back. And I don't know what color. They got light. I think they only had like what, four or five different colors. There wasn't a whole lot of colors to it since it says a tinted moisturizer type thing. So I really been looking for something with a little bit less coverage because I'm not really wanting full coverage right now. I'm old. I might as well show I'm old so why try to cover it up with 
with makeup, right? This is a little, probably going to be a little bit too yellowy for me. And I'll make it work. It kind of has a sheer, I don't know if you can see it. It's right in through here. It kind of has like a um, satin finish in a way. It doesn't say that it is. I'm just guessing it will have a satiny finish since it is like a hydrating kind of tint. So I'll try it. That was around $5, I believe. That's how much it was. It wasn't too bad. That's why I decided to go ahead and give it a whirl. Uh, right now, I'm actually loving this cheap elf one. And it, it's not even really a foundation. I think it's like a... Um, Uh, like a, um, a prep, uh, primer type thing. Because it gives a little bit of, it's called a foundation serum. But it gives more of kind of like just a barely amount of, because that's what I'm wearing today, just a barrel. the hell am I trying to, get it together, dumbass. Okay, it just barely has any coverage to it. So it just kind of evens out a little bit of redness that I do have. But it's not hiding nothing. I mean, I still got, like acne pop it through so and it doesn't seem to break me out either so matter of fact i'm about out on this and i found this on their elf clearance so i don't even know if you get this anymore so that's why i thought i'd go ahead and get that wet wild to see but wet wild has been bad in the past about breaking me out that camp the um not the camo what's it called their photo focus stuff um breaks me out bad so that's why i'm kind of like Ugh. so maybe this is not the same and it won't be as bad speaking of camo though i do have a new concealer the elf hydrating camo concealer i love the other concealer just the regular camo concealer and i'm like totally out of it so i decided to get this one and try it since it does say it's hydrating and I, god i hope i got the right color oh i didn't get the right color damn it Okay, what was I supposed to get? This one was light peach, and I got light beige. I should have got light beige. Anyways, I can't wait to see what this is like. And a lot of people either love this concealer or hate it. And it's really how you apply it. Because it's very thick. It's very thick. It dries down. At least the old one does. Dries down, doesn't move, doesn't budge. So it will cause creasing under the eye and look really um kind of cakey if you apply way too much on if you just apply at least for me i have found if it's just a very thin layer it looks absolutely perfect under my skin and it does not move so here it is right here it feels the same it actually might be a really good match for my skin so it feels the same i'll see if it dries down like the other one does but yeah it's definitely need a new one these are six dollars pretty good size little bottle here a lot of people also compared these to um the tarte shape tape i never did try the the tarte shape tape so i don't know exactly if it's the same or not but because i'm not spending that much on concealer so i got another elf product i decided to get one of these little uh what are they called bite size something or another they're very small see oh there's my head they're very small but everybody raves about how good they are so here's the blush and here's the um the highlighter highlighter maybe a little too dark for me but i got this because the blush seemed to be a blush i would actually use I don't know. It, I can't tell if it's going to cast darkness. I'd be sheared out. It would be as bad. But I like a little bit deeper, darker of a blush whenever I use blush. I don't want a blush. It just looks, looks like my skin tone. <laughs> so I want something that's going to show up. So that's why I picked this one. But yeah, the highlighter just probably a little too dark for me. But I'll let you know, like I said, these are just three bucks. Many different colors to choose from of those. And they also got the eyeshadow, the little $3 eyeshadow things too. So, But I had two of them. And me personally, I didn't really care for those. So I haven't bought any more since. 
But I, I went ahead and decided to give these fates was a try because normally I do like elves like blushes and stuff. So I was like, okay, I'll give it a try. Other than their highlighters, I haven't been impressed with the highlighters I've got from Elf. So the next thing I got was, like I said, I'm going to give them one more try. And if I don't, I'm done. <laughs> this is the Wet n Wild, the little color icon. These are the little five. Okay. <laughs> These are can figure out if it is blurred or not. The little five pans. This is in the color. Uh, where's the color? I don't. It don't say where the color is. Did I take the tag off that had the color? I bet I did. So I don't know. It's just the brown one. <laughs> I think I ripped the tag off to have the name of the the color of the palette. Go figure. So here it is, and unfortunately, there's a day of press glitter in here. I thought this was going to be like a metallic shiver. Nope. It's a damn press glitter. But I will give them credit. It is a, a duochrome. <laughs> so, but eh. So, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and just swatch it out for you. Yeah. That concealer is totally dried down. Matter of fact, they both did. That tinted moisturizer stuff dried down. So, I'm just going to flop these on top of those. I'm just going to grab just the regular shadows right now. Okay, they might be better formula. I just, I've never had any luck with their, the other quads, the older quads and the older pans that they had. But y'all know me, if you've been on this channel for a very long time, hello, I'm a pigmentation whore. I love pigmentation. If it doesn't have pigmentation, I don't want it. I don't want to sit there and have to build up. That's not me. That's not who I am. I want it instantly. Plus, with all the stuff I do, I really need eyeshadows that are very vivid, very bright, very pigmented. So, for regular people that doesn't do the crap I do, these would be fine. They'd be perfect. They'd be able to build up perfect. So, here's the glitter. And I'm just pressing it. Because, like I said, you can't swatch glitter out like you would eyeshadow. So, whenever I look at it this way, I see a lot of green. Coppery. But I think y'all see, like, the coppery. So, like I said, I'll give it a whirl and see if I like these. Because I think it's a new formula is what they said. So, that was only, like, $3 as well. It wasn't that expensive at all. That's why I went ahead and tried it. Basically, what I was doing was I was trying to fill up my damn cart so I could get the free shipping. Because I don't want to sit there and pay for shipping for one item. So, that's why I was getting all this little extra stuff to try to get up to the $35 mark. Well, actually, I needed $40. So, the $40 mark so I could get the free shipping. So, <laughs> that's what I was doing. So, that's why I got all this other stuff. Just for this palette here. Try to get all this glitter, like I said. Herpes of the makeup world is glitter. And I've got it all over my eyes tonight. Go figure. Yeah, I tried to do... I'm just going to do a simple look. Since my hair kind of overrules everything. I'm just going to do something simple. It's simple brown, basic bitch kind of look. And I couldn't stop there. Oh, well, it's, it's too plain. i got to have some glitter. Oh, that, that's still not good enough. I've got to have some purple eyeliner. That's still not enough. Let's do some wild ass look at highlight. That's just me. Anyways, let's go to the palette, shall we? This is the BH Cosmetics, the Lunar New Year palette of the 2021 edition. And you know why I got this damn thing. Check it out. Look at all those reds, oranges. It's the only reason why I got it. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, it's really, really pretty. I was trying to scratch my nose, so y'all didn't have to watch, witness that bullshit. Anyways. There are four, nope, sorry, five press glitters in this one. I have never tried BH's press glitter formula. I don't know if they've even had any press glitters in their past palettes. If y'all know, let me know down below. But I don't remember seeing any. So this will be new for me to try. What I'm happy about is we almost, almost got a true red glitter right here. But it's not, there we go. 
it, I don't have any actual pressed glitters that are true red. So I was very happy that this one's actually a true red. <clears throat> Excuse me. Then we got a gold. We got kind of this um, rose gold. There we go. That's what I was trying to think. What color is that? We got orange. Straight up orange. And then this multi-chrome thing here. It looks orange on cam. Like right now when I'm looking at it this way, I see purple. When I turn it another way, I see kind of that yellowy orange. It's just, it's a weird glitter. So it has very multi-dimensional colors to it. And then we have a few shimmers. We have this shimmer, this shimmer. And these two are shimmers here and the rest are all MAC colors. I got to scratch my nose again, okay. But I'll go ahead and swatch out a few just so you can see. You know which one I'm gonna go after first, don't you? You can just guess. And I can't even pronounce how the hell that's called. I don't know what, the, I can't see it for one, but look at that. That is red. That is making my pickle get all tickled because I am very happy to see a real true red. So let's grab this kind of orangey red. I'm gonna grab this burgundy color because it just looks pretty. Let's go ahead and grab the yellow just to see. Sometimes yellows are real funky and they don't want to show up sometimes. <laughs> I just love red. Oh, I love red. If you don't love red, get, out, get off my channel. <laughs> I'm banishing you from my kingdom if you don't love red. So, Oh, well, hey, yellow. You showed up even without anything. Normally, yellows, you need kind of a white base. Well, hello, I'm a white girl and I'm pale. But usually, you need kind of a white base to really make them. So that's actually doing it on its own, so. <whistles> What's going on over there? He just hollered to be hollered. Maybe he's not a red fan. <laughs> Now this, there's a whitey here. I thought it was a, I overlooked. I thought that this was a matte. It's not a matte. Ooh. This um, is kind of a, oh, that'd be a pretty highlighter. That's that white one I just pulled out. It's kind of a dual chrome. See, there's a gold. There's kind of a pink and then a white shift kind of to it really weird to describe but that'd be a pretty highlighter and let's just I I don't want to really go with that red I don't really want to go with that red glitter I'm gonna just go into the gold we're just gonna see what it does it's very soft they look they always look so damn good oh, hair they always look so good whatever you put them on your finger but then when you're gonna swatch them they just look like well I say that now I was going to say, they look like dog shit, but that one's coming off really pretty. I still would trust this on its own. It is super soft. I would definitely put a sticky base down, a tacky base, for the pressed glitters. Because I know some of them like Profusion, you don't even, because this is Profusion, you don't even have to have a tacky base. It pretty much comes with its own glue. So, but that is some of the colors in the palette. And the glitter. I guess I need to pull one shiver so we can see what it looks like. <gasps> oh, the shiver's not bad. It's kind of a metallic y, orangey copper. So, this palette I think would be really, really pretty fall, fall time. This is when it's screaming my name is fall into Christmas. Because I would use these reds and stuff for Christmas, the gold, stuff like that. So, Yep, this is the uh, the bull. <laughs> no, it's the Lunar New Year. Like I said, I guess BH is going to start doing these now because I don't remember one from last year. So, unfortunately, this damn thing is $21. So, and I seen somebody else swatch it. I'm like, I have to have it because these damn red toads that are in it. And sure enough, they are actual true reds. So I'm glad I got it. And like I said, I'm glad that they sent me that coupon because that would have been the only way I got it. <laughs> Unless it really went on sale. So, 
anyways, I hope you enjoyed this haul video. I'm sure I'm going to be doing a look with that Lunar palette very soon. The other ones I'm just going to play around with and see if I like them. So, anyways, stay tuned. I am back to back to back filming to get me some videos built up before anything else happens because I've had a really crappy weekend. So, anyways, <laughs> thank you for watching me. Thank you for subscribing. And, as always, I love you guys and I'll see you soon.